I think many Christians forget that they have Christ actually living in them. We have the mind of Christ, the spirit of Christ, because what he did on the cross, when we choose to believe that, he literally comes inside and changes us and allows us to understand scripture, the Holy Spirit, as we meditate on the scriptures, learn, teach, and uh, exhort one another, reprove one another. Uh, the wisdom of God through his word starts to infiltrate our minds and our bodies and our soul. And even when the world is literally falling apart around us, we can see the rulers of the world have completely lost it. You know, we are at the brink of extreme things happening. But listen how cool, when you really sit to think, just meditate on how you were chosen to know the mysteries of God. This is so unbelievable when you think about it, how amazing this is that you can actually have the peace of God when literally everything's falling apart around you. So many people right now are going through extreme anxiety. They're hit with persecution all around, not just from seeing things on the media, but in their personal lives. Um, whatever it is that you're going through, we can still have a peace that goes beyond understanding. I want to read this scripture to you. Oops. Um, it is in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, spiritual wisdom. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. Stop right there. Think about the wisdom of God is completely different from the knowledge and the wisdom of man. And when you're looking to the leaders of the world to change these worldly problems, um, these leaders have gone so far off and you know we're looking for solutions from the leaders when we should be looking for solutions in the word of God for our peace and our understanding and how to live during these very uncertain times. <clears throat> but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they had known, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. So, you know, everyone's searching for religion and searching for peace and searching for, as I talked about yesterday, you know, looking to escape through meditation, to escape the things of the world where we should be searching for um, the wisdom of God, which gives us the peace that the world is looking for, right? So let's just just... Think about this for one second. Just stop to meditate on the fact. And again, meditation in the Christian sense is different than meditation in the world. To meditate, to just stop and think about the fact that we have learned the secret things, the wisdom of God, which is so different than the world. Um, you know, it's just, I, I can't even explain because it's hard, the Bible says that, you know, the, the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. Like, it's not, it's a spiritual understanding of God in a different way than man cannot intellectualize. You know, many people try to wrap their head around God, like think about God in a certain way without having the spirit of God um, helping them to helping that person decipher the ways of God. And again, this is done through reading and studying and coming to these revelations of God that cannot come from 
people, you know. We can be inspired by our pastors and we can be inspired by our mentors and friends, but the true wisdom only comes from the inspired word of God because it's from God. That's why there is a change and it's a different change. And we have to like really just sit back and go, wow, like this is so unbelievable that we can actually have peace during the storms of life. We have currencies collapsing around the world. We have war, we have like horrific deaths. We have um, weather that is changing. We have the birth pains of the end times. This is in scripture. And while everything is falling apart, we can have that, the mind of Christ. And even the apostle, when he was going and preaching the gospel, he actually had peace and joy in his persecutions when everything was falling apart, when he was being jailed and, and starved, he didn't eat for days, shipwrecked, uh, you name it, whatever the persecution uh, rejected, Paul went through it all. He went through the worst persecution, getting spreading the, the gospel of Jesus Christ um, and setting up the church. The church is the body of Christ. It's not a physical building. It's the body of Christ, the body of believers. He went through the worst persecution a person could ever go through. And yet, he was just in awe of God's grace. And let's just take a moment to just sit in that and really think about that and just be in awe of that. Be in awe of that. And then that will give us the power to get out and witness to others, to share um, our peace with other people that don't have the peace that God promises us. When we trust in him, not of our works, we can be um, useful in the body of Christ for good works, whatever that may be. You know, showing gentleness and kindness and patience and compassion to the world while they're sitting back trying to figure things out. So, I just pray that you, um, you know, understand this message that it is uh, for your, you know, God gives us all the tools necessary to operate in this world where he knew we were going to have persecution. And um, it's just amazing that God allows us to, to have these, these mysteries revealed to us. So I'm definitely humbled by that fact and I'm always so thankful that God wow thank God you know even during all of my pride I was still able to cut away some of that pride to search for the truth and to try to humble myself to exalt him and to you know as one subscriber just commented she said let us you know decrease so he can increase um, anyway just wanted to share that message with you guys today. If you have not understand what the gospel is, it's very simple. We are all born sinners. Christ died, was buried and resurrected on the third day in order to um, take away those sins. That was the price he paid. The sin was nailed on the cross at Calvary. That's why he said his last breath, it is finished meaning he did the work of the salvation of mankind for all that believes that he did the work. You have to believe that. If you don't believe that with your heart, you know, in your mind, you can say, yeah, yeah, Jesus was a good prophet. Jesus was a good person. Um, that's not really believing and humbling yourself to the fact that we are sins, sinners and we need a savior. The Bible says when you believe that, that you become a new creation the holy spirit will start to live in you and then do the work in you sometimes the work happens quickly sometimes it takes years but the sanctification happens when you are seeking him earnestly and trusting that he did that work of salvation all right guys god bless you i'll talk to you in the next video